What flies higher than an airplane, but lower than a satellite? What can save money, fuel, and lives? A balloon. This week, we're soaring up to the stratosphere to get a good look at the Earth. Here's our scientist with more. When we need to take a look at a large area quickly, a disaster like a forest fire or flooding, we have limited and often expensive options. An aircraft can only fly up to 18,000 meters above the ground and has a limited viewing window, and it costs a lot in fuel and preparation. A satellite is another option, but we have to wait until it's in the right position over the Earth, not to mention the expense. High altitude balloons are low cost and rapidly deployable compared to aircraft or satellites. When we pair them with an imaging system, we can quickly look at an area of up to hundreds of square kilometers within hours. The balloon can be launched by hand and soar to a height of 20 to 40 kilometers. They're pushed by constant and regular stratospheric winds on a straight trajectory so we can be very sure of their direction of travel. But how can a balloon take pictures of what's happening on the ground? What makes our system really innovative is a technology called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. Here's how it works. A normal radar needs a very large antenna to get a high-resolution image. Not practical for a balloon, but SAR uses a composite of many low-resolution images taken rapidly within a certain time to build up a larger, high-resolution image. We can even get the system back with an auto-deploying parachute combined with a GPS that enables us to recover the radar. This project is a first step towards equipping the system with a data link so we can get real-time pictures from our eye in the sky. Next episode, we'll take you to Montenegro to see a technology that could help responders save lives across borders. Check out the rest of the videos in the series to learn more about NATO science. <laughs>